here we go again, October 29th, 2023. Uh, trying to deal with the Microsoft nightmare. Uh, they won't let me. They won't let me access my purchased version of Microsoft 2019. Um, I took 365 off this morning, so I'm, I'm hoping that'll be enough. Thank God I saved my information in a text document before I did that. So, the help, the community said to connect your Word account with your Microsoft account. So, and he gave the link. So I'm trying that link again. I've already tried this without taking 365 off. password in. Waiting, 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 waiting. Okay. It's going to say stay signed in and I say yes every time and I have to keep signing in anyway. in to connect accounts. Signed in as this product key has already been used. It's staying still. I believe I took it off this laptop that I was using. It shouldn't be on the laptop because it only, it only applies to one Somebody's messing with this. Now, who would have opened that up on my tripod? Why would that just do that? I had those legs locked. So this means I lost all my shortcuts in Microsoft Word, and they still won't let me in. I took 365 off. There's no other... There's no other account. Install for your Microsoft account. The store office.com page can't not be found. Let's see if this guy responded again. a different response. Make sure that you have Office at your account at this address. She 
I have a product key. How could it not be on the account? It says right here. Home. This is the one I installed. Products you've purchased. Office Home and Student 2019. This is the one I installed and it keeps coming up as 365. This happens every time I do a refresh. Let's see what else this guy says. It says I have to uninstall Office 365, which I just did this morning. But it says also that you have to, you'll probably see both 2019 and 365. If so, you need to cancel your 365 prescription. Oops. Oops. Let's see if it says expires on 11-3. Let's see if it'll let me cancel it. I see. I didn't know I had to do that. It's not confirming my cancellation. So maybe I can't get back into it. So maybe that means they. Expires on 11-3. Recurring billing off. Okay, let's try one more time then. Let's go back to what this guy said. And try entering it again. Watch, they'll make me enter my account number anyway. <laughs> go to your Microsoft you have to set up and install this. Enter your product name. It still says this product key has been used. Install from your Microsoft account. In the meantime, you can't use your shortcuts, and I lost them all because I, I I took it out of the I went to the control panel and uninstalled 365, so I lose all my shortcuts. This is such a tremendous amount of time that they screw the unprivileged people out of, and people that have attention deficit syndrome that you know don't remember all the steps you have to take and have to go through the whole process every time. And this is the only program I have. And I'll never buy another program again from anybody because it's just a waste of time. I wish computers, I wish computers would get to the point, I wish we'd get to the point in the world where computers wouldn't exist at all. Maybe if I sign out and sign back in. Maybe if I restart, let's see, with, um, well, there's a, maybe just having this text document open. I wonder if I should restart. Let me try restarting. Make sure it's not on this one, because these were linked. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be on here, and I can't use this, these, these stupid laptops. This is going back. I'm going to wipe this anyway because you can't, I can't use this without a mouse. It's like just a nightmare. Okay, so I have enough control panel here. I can't wait to see what they make me do to get to control panel. Um, see, it's already on my list because I already did that and 
Edge, WebView, OneDrive, OneNote. No Microsoft Office. Okay, fresh start. Let's wipe this computer because this is going bad. This won't let me move around. Now it's not taking my mouse. Oh my god. I hate computers. It's taking me to device performance and health. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna have to go online and actually ask somebody. It says fresh start right here, and when you ask for additional info. It just takes you online instead of to the fresh start thing. Where is it? Oh my God. Oh my God, they won't let me get to fresh start. They know what I'm trying to do. Because they're trying to force me to buy 365 on top of the package I already have. They won't let me get to my fresh start program. Oh, here it is. There's a link down here. Give your piece open recovery settings. It's recovery. I can't remember that. I have to open recovery settings. Oh, I hate this. They are such jackasses. Any other time you can get to it. Through by asking for fresh start without going online. That just sets you up for another mistake, because now the guy they're work the geeks are all working to to trip you up another way. Set this PC. And I'm not synced, so they better not be touching anything. you to remove everything. Additional settings. Current settings. Remove apps and files. Do not clean the drive. Download and reinstall Windows. Cloud, cloud download can use more than 4 gigabytes. I already asked, told them to download and reinstall Windows. They won't let me clean the drive. 
they won't let me clean the drive. They won't let me choose to clean the drive. I don't want any personal stuff on here because I'm taking the computer back. In case I missed something. All that. I didn't transfer anything like that, but I don't want any of my documents at all that I created. They won't let me do it the right way. Current settings, remove absent files, do not clean the drive, download and reinstall Windows. Cloud download can use more than four gigabytes of data. That time they gave me another option. So they give me another option the next time. Uh, I gotta plug it in. Okay, that's getting things ready. What a nightmare. What a nightmare. 